and I'm learning the piano. I'm not entirely the best at it. Uh, I don't have any sheet music right in front of me right now, but uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying the morning. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, and uh, yeah. So if you want to sit with me while I get on some piano, that'd be kind of cool. And uh, just FYI, I don't have uh, any pedals or anything on this, so it may not sound the best, but uh, this is a fairly trusty piano. I also don't know how to use this metronome yet. However, I have another metronome. But for now, I'm going to try this out. Um, just FYI, uh, I still have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not sure what time it is. I think uh, it's 10 o'clock. So um, in our area, uh, I try to keep the volume down um, in the morning. I normally wait till 10 o'clock on most days. Uh, other days I don't really, uh, I just try and keep it quiet because I don't like to wake up my neighbors with. <laughs> so yeah, um, back to it. Oops. Um, I'm trying something new today. So I'm trying. Um, I learned a bit of piano off of uh, the Alfred books. Um, and uh, just watching videos on YouTube. There's some really good artists out there. There's some awesome people that are teaching the piano right now. So uh, it's just going to take some um, to get some of these things down. trying to um, what I'm gonna try to do right now is I'm gonna try and split up some of these chords so uh... gonna get the a in there See if I could split up this. And then uh, the big issue that I was having was the hand position. So I'm just working on that too. I actually uh, made a video a couple years ago uh, trying to learn some of the jazz chords, um, which, are, which are really um, just regular chords, but with a seventh. <laughs> so getting the music theory down is pretty cool.
pretty much most of today is just gonna be me sitting here and splitting up these chords and then finding better ways to get my hands working. Uh, I'm not entirely coordinated with my hands, so it's usually uh, much easier to plan out the notes way ahead of time, um, have them played out on uh, Logic Pro or um, or whatever DAW I use. Um, sometimes I write it out, but yeah, it's, it's nice to just feel the music and then go. So maybe I'll try something else and keep going. So what I'm doing here right now, um, with my left hand, I'm playing the bass note. So say for instance, um, there's two positions that I'm playing at, and this is, uh, I learned this from Alfred, <laughs> actually, uh, position A, uh, position one on the C, so pinky on the C, thumb on the C, position two, pinky on the, on the, on the G, thumb on the D, I mean thumb on the G. Um, I'm basically just coming up with exercises in my head to make this uh, more intuitive as I continue to play it. Uh, it's very similar to the keyboard uh, in a way. I mean, it is a keyboard, but <laughs> I, I'm not, I don't know it as well as I would know this. Um, what I'm doing right now is, uh, so I'm hitting G, which is the root note on my left hand. And on the right hand, I'm either hitting the third or the fifth. So the fifth of this G would be, I think, the C. Wait. Okay, I'm totally wrong there. Um, Cause there's whole steps and half steps. I think the, um, I'll just hit the third for now, just to be safe. And I'm thinking that the fifth is the D of G, but, oh, yeah. Okay, so G major, the fifth is D. Um, the G scale, like the C scale is also um, all whole notes. So no sharps or flats, I'm pretty sure. And when you hit the G chord, your pinky, the fifth, goes on the D, so that would make it the D. Um, yeah, so here we go. Uh, and I'll hit G, hit D, and hit the third over here. We'll go to A now. Um, the A chord would be the sharp and the C sharp and uh, E. We'll go to B now. Uh, I usually invert the B because it's much easier for me, but I think I'm wrong when I do that. I actually hit B minor, so, or some form of the jazz version, uh, which is just a seven. So let's count that out again. So here's the B, here's the B here. Um, we're trying again, and on the fifth there. Yeah.
that makes a little bit more sense. And then just for reference, I'm gonna go back to the G chord, something that I know. I'm gonna count the half steps and then I'm gonna compare them to this B chord and then try to match them up. Um, so one, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, there you go. Um, so there's our B. And then going back to this now, um, putting my hands in the positions, uh, I'm hitting both the, uh, the E flat or the D sharp and the F sharp. So somewhere there, I'm gonna have to figure this out. A um, uh, little background, uh, I started playing piano a couple years ago. Uh, it only lasted a couple months, but yeah, it, it, it was a really good time. And then now getting back to music again, suddenly I just got my piano, got the stand, threw it in my room, and now it's a beautiful day outside. I get to look outside and play the piano. Um, so here's the B. Let's see how I can split this up. So fifth root, and then I could do a double kind of, and then I could do a double split even, but I think I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Uh oh. And then C, I'm gonna hit that fifth. And then I could split it up and I think, wow, this is how I started last time. Um, I split it up and uh, thank you, piano. Uh, I watched a couple of, um, I watched a couple of videos on YouTube and I just had a really, like I had a serious deja vu right there. So it's a, it's a bit of a strange piano session that I'm having right now. Sometimes I kind of lose focus. This is my first time actually um, filming it. Hey Lurks, what's up? Um, thanks for sticking this out so far. I think we're going somewhere with this. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to try and splitting up these chords.
not entirely coordinated yet, but I'm getting there. Uh, so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this metronome going. Uh, sometimes I, care, I get carried uh, away a little bit. And if you notice there, I started leaning over really hard into it. Um, I actually really love to sing. So I'm not trying to get that habit too. Um, trying to maintain an upright posture. This chair is a bit interesting to do so in too because uh, it's not really a gaming chair, but it's not really a not a gaming chair. It's pretty comfortable, but yeah. Let's see if I can get it up a little bit. Or sit on the, uh, the edge of it. Uh, let's try a going like this. Oh, that's way too fast for me. So I'm going to slow this way down. Um, my eraser buddy is still out here. Put that guy back there. And I've got my uh, metronome going. It's at 45 BPM. Uh, which is a nice slow tempo for somebody like me. Um, I'm going to start off with a, a simple chord progression uh, and work my way out from there. Um, yeah, um, so I can do a 2-5-1, which is why I really like jazz and I really like um, blues. I don't really have to think about it too much. 2-5-1. Uh, Uh, it does sound a little bit weird without the sustain pedal, so um, I'm just going to keep going with this. Maybe speed that up to 50.
So let me, um, that started getting interesting. Um, so that's a good thing about a metronome, a uh, little bit of thinking about the chords, putting them together. Uh, a couple mistakes that I made there were um, the octave jumps were nice. Uh, halfway through, I got a little bit excited. So I started hitting one, two. I started trying to hit doubles and triplets between each beat. Um, I'm on a four, four time. Uh, right now um a couple mistakes i made that i that i heard were uh i hit an a major uh when i hit a when i could have hit a minor um the only reason that i'm hearing that and i'm saying it's a mistake to me is that it just didn't sound like it fit which is which is strange um but play um have fun with the piano as you learn and i'm gonna get a coffee so i'll be back and yeah, this is about to go down.